So as of the newest update, the Pocket Mage supports third-party apps. And what does this mean? So developers can create and build and distribute their own apps, which users will be able to put on their SD card and then install using the app loader program on the Pocket Mage. So this makes it a lot easier to incorporate your own apps and I figured I'd make a quick video on how someone might do that. So let's start by creating our app. Um, you're gonna use VS Code for this or your preferred method of accessing platform IO. And if you don't know what this means, that's okay. Um, you can actually head over to my repo on GitHub and if you go to code and then blank app, we have a full platform IO project here um, this is blank, this is ready to go, and you can build off of this to make your own apps. So once you've finished your app, you're gonna head over to Platform.io on VS Code or whatever, and you're gonna build. Um, so we're gonna just hit this button here to build. Okay, now that we've built our project, we've got our uh, compiled program. And where we find that is if we drop down PIO, build, and then our environment name, we'll scroll down and find firmware.bin. This is what we're looking for. So we can just drag that onto the desktop there. That's our firmware. That's what we'll put on the SD card to actually flash the program. Now, for every program, there needs to be an icon. So I recommend a program called Graphic Scale. This is a free program. It makes it super easy to make pixel art. Um, and you're gonna wanna set up a new icon, um, 40 by 40 resolution, and make sure this is one bit colors. The e-ink can only display black or white and no grayscale. So when you create a new icon, you'll have something like this. I've already created one um, for our example app. And once you're done with your icon, you can go to file and you're going to want to export it. Um, not this stuff doesn't really matter, but make sure the file type is bitmap and then hit OK. And I'm just going to save this to desktop. And here we go. Here's our icon. So after you've gotten your icon, going to head over to this website, image to CPP. What this does is it it allows us to select this icon that's on the desktop. And then we can see our preview here. We're gonna to wanna to invert the image colors because white actually means draw a pixel. And then make sure this is unchecked and then hit generate code and then hit download as binary. So now we've got our bitmap binary. We can get rid of this uh, bitmap and we're gonna to wanna to rename this. Well, first we're gonna to wanna to rename our code to example app dot bin and then we're going to name the icon example example app underscore icon in all caps this is necessary you do need to name it this way in order for the program to pick it up but it's pretty simple you can name the app whatever you want and then that's the name that will show up on the pocket mage itself so once you've got this you're going to drag it you're going to right click whoops, <laughs> drag it, right click, compress to tar file. Basically what a tar, a tar file is similar to um, a zip file, except it's not compressed. So it's really easy for the ESP32 to read this. So we just have our, our two um, binaries contained in a tar file. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my pocket mage here. And then I'm on the screen navigating to the USB app. And in just a second, our pocket mage should pop up here. There it is. So we're going to go into the pocket mage, into the apps directory, um, delete our old app here because uh, I, I've done this before to test. Um, and then we're just going to take our tar file and drop it right here in the apps folder. Don't worry about that temp folder that holds stuff that's necessary for the install process. After you're done with that, 
you can move to the screen of the pocket mage. Okay, so I'm going to enter the loader app here. And then I'm going to choose a slot to install the app to. Let's choose A. I'm going to choose to swap what's in slot A by hitting S. And then we have our app shown here. This is what we just put on the SD card. There would be more if you had other apps as well. So you hit space on this one. It's going to extract and then install. Once it completes the install, it'll back out. And then if we go back to the home menu here, we can see our app with our icon here. To get to our newly installed app, we'll hit A. And this new app will um, basically just be a progress bar. So when I launch this, it'll reboot into that app. And then after the progress bar completes, this app I have programmed to come back to the Pocket Mage OS. So let's try it. We're rebooting. There's our progress bar. And then after it's done, we're going to come back to the app. Perfect.